It was a rowdy Thursday as celebrities took to the streets of Lagos to protest the continued brutality of the special anti-robbery squad, SARS. The protesters insist that the scrapping of the police unit is the only way forward and not to the ban on routine patrol. We have details in this report. The common emotion here is anger. That's us. That's us. The hashtag NSAS campaign against police brutality and extortion in Lagos, Nigeria. No, we don't know why we're here. This is a matter that has been disturbing and bothering every citizen of this country since SARS came in. You know, it's completely abolished. Just do something. Reforms will not work. Do you understand? They need to just take these people off the scenery and then bring new people on board. Prior to this protest, a music artist, Aziz Fashola, popularly known as Naira Mali, called for a protest but was responded by the police public relations officer, Frank Umba, which led to the calling off of the mass action. But for these demonstrators, the explanation is not satisfactory. The end such brutality. As a Nigerian, you can't even look good. As a Nigerian, you can't even go out because SARS are out there hunting us. Ah, uh -uh, it's too much. And SARS, we want peace and we want justice. We should be protected. We are the people. We are the government. Brother, carry dread. No means say you be arm robber. And SARS, now that's what we're fighting for. Okay, police brutality is too much. And SARS, and SARS. They are killing us. They are killing the youths more than, in fact, old people. Youths are dying more than the old people these days. And SARS. The recent activities of men of SARS, including the brute force on a young man in Delta State, sparked off the rage, which led to the police inspector general banning the squad from carrying out routine patrol. <laughs>